Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about the Young's modulus, the bulk modulus, and the shear modulus, which are used to establish the amount of strain an object will go through. Deformation, strain and deformation can be used synonymous when you apply a certain amount of force. In the case of the Young's modulus, it's usually a linear object. Bulk modulus is volume and shear modulus when you try to shear something off or to push something on the side. So in each case, it's a ratio of the stress divided by the strain. Notice that the units in the denominator for strain are non-existent because they cancel out. We have delta L divided by L, and since both of them are units of length, they cancel out. In the case of the bulk modulus, the strain is the change in volume over the volume. Again, the units cancel out because it'll be meters cubed divided by meters cubed. And in the case of the shear modulus, the strain also will have non-units because x is linear, h is linear, so x is the deformation in the horizontal direction, h is the height of the object, and again, they cancel out. The only units you will find in the moduli, like with the Young's modulus, the bulk modulus, and the shear modulus, is in the numerator where we talk about the stress. Notice for Young's modulus, the stress is force divided by area. So when we talk about the units here, we're going to end up with force, which is newtons, divided by the cross-sectional area of the object, which is meters squared. And if we then work out the units, we get kilograms, meters per second squared for newtons, and then divide by meters squared. And when we simplify that, we get kilograms divided by seconds squared times meters. And these are the units of pressure, which is also the units of stress. So force divided by area can be considered pressure or it can be considered stress when we talk about the modulus. Now for the bulk modulus, we get the same thing. It's force divided by area. So this will again be newtons divided by square meters. And of course, that will then simplify again to the units of pressure of kilograms per second squared times meters. And when we talk about the shear modulus, again, no difference, although the geometry is a little bit different. It's the force applied divided by the cross-sectional area at the top. And so the units here, again, are going to be newtons per square meters. And that simplifies again to kilograms second squared times meters, which are the units of pressure. And that's how we do that.